Number four, an 1,800-watt toaster, a 1,400-watt electric frying pan, and a 75-watt lamp are plugged into the same outlet uh, in a 15-amp, 120-volt circuit. that They're connected in parallel, right? Plugged in the same socket. Letter A, what current is drawn by each device? All right, so let's just do a little highlighting. Let's pretend that this represents the 1,800-watt uh, toaster. Uh, this will represent the 1,400-watt uh, electric frying pan, and then this is the 75-watt lamp. So what we know is we know the power being dissipated by each of these, right? So I'll just highlight this one in, in, uh, in blue. Uh, that's going to be 75 watts, okay? Now, uh, this is something we need to know and uh, understand. Now, when, when appliances are plugged into a 120-volt circuit, uh, the voltage of the circuit now is 120 volts, okay? And the voltage then over each resistor, okay, because that's what's producing the power dissipated, there's a certain resistance in that line, so the voltage over this resistor and this resistor and this resistor are all constant. They're all 120 volts, okay? So the voltage over this resistance is 120 volts. The voltage over this is 120 volts, okay? And the same thing goes for that one. Now, you have to memorize this, that the voltage in parallel, okay, is constant. So the way I remember that is thinking about like a, VP, like, you know, vice president, whatever the case is, but, uh, you know, I changed the meaning. To me, this means that the voltage in parallel is constant, okay? Or you can even remember VPC if you want, but I don't, you know, I don't know what that even means, you know, but VP, right? Voltage, parallel, constant, okay? So now what we realize is that if I know the power of this resistor, you know, or that appliance that has a certain resistance in it, and I know the voltage that's applied, I can figure out the current. How? Well, Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage, right? In other words, the power being dissipated or being supplied to a, you know, lamp is going to be equal to the current flowing through the lamp multiplied by the voltage applied to the lamp. So this is 75 watts. Current is what we are looking for. And then voltage, right, is going to be 120. So just divide that all by 120. So we're going to take 75 divided by 120 and it's gonna be 0 0.6, 0 0.625 amps. All right, good, so that takes care of that, all right? They might say, well, yeah, well, well, we got a current over here, Andrew, what does that mean? That means absolutely nothing. The outlet, the outlet is a 15 amp outlet. All that means is that it's rated to carry a total of 15 amps. Has nothing to do with any part of the calculation at all, okay? That's all that that means. How would you know this? I have no idea, you know? <laughs> You know, unless you did some electrical work or something, or they're telling it to you in class, but th this has nothing to do with the calculations at the moment. That's just the capacity of the outlet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solve the rest for the green and the blue. Okay, so this is this was for the blue. That's the current flowing through that. I'm just going to rework this. I realize that I'm going to use the formula, same formula three times, which is just the power over the voltage. All I'm doing is just reworking that so I don't have to do the math, you know, algebra all the time. And the power here for the green one is going to be 1400, right? That's the frying pan over the voltage of 120. And that's then going to equal a current of 1400 over 120. 11.7-ish, right? 11.7 amps. Okay. Uh-oh, we're getting close, right? Getting close to the capacity. So this is now the green one. Okay. So um, last is going to be for the yellow one. Okay, for the toaster. So the power here for the toaster is 1800 over then the voltage of 120 volt circuit. And because it's constant, remember the voltage is constant the whole time. So 1800 divided by 120, and that's 15 now. 15 amps. Okay, so that's now in yellow. So what did we just find? We just found this, that the current flowing through the, the 1800 watt toaster is 15 amps. 15 amps of flow. Okay, 15 amps of flow. The one through the green, which is the frying pan, was carrying 11.7 amps of flow. And then through the light bulb there, through the lamp, it was carrying 0 0.6, I'm just going to rough it there, 0 0.6 amps. All right. Now, the only way that you're going to get a current flow of 15 units through the first one, and 11.74 amps through the second, and 0.6 amps through the third, is if you had a total current flowing out of this circuit 
or a total current flowing around the circuit of 15 amps plus 11.7 plus 0.6. Okay, that's the total Nell current. So I'm going to write a little I sub T. And the current here, as you can see, through each resistor, through each resistor is not constant. Okay, that should make sense because the current... Think of it like, you know, cars, I don't know, flowing around, uh, you know, a, a, a particular city or something. There's a lot of traffic. You know, there, there's, there's let's say, um, you know, there there's, well, you could think about it this way, that there's 15 amps of current. And the reason why there's so much current flowing through this is because it has to overcome such a large resistance. Also, you know, there's a lot of power uh, being, um, you know, what's the word? A lot of power being dissipated, all right, by that resistor. But there are several methods by which this current can flow around the circuit, all right? It doesn't have to flow through each resistor. It can flow through several resistors, all right? Um, so hopefully that makes sense. And it, I don't even know if I made my point. But what I'm trying to say is that the total current here in a parallel circuit will be the addition between the current flowing through one circuit and the current flowing through another and the current flowing through another. And I said circuit, so let me do that again. The total current flowing around this entire circuit will be the current flowing through the first resistor plus the current flowing through the second resistor plus the current flowing through the third, okay? So it's gonna be simply 15 plus then 11.7 plus then 0 0.6. So the total current flowing through the circuit is now going to be 15 plus 11.7 plus 0.625 and we get 27.325. So 27.325 amps of current is flowing. All right. Now it didn't ask for that, but uh, I think in problem B, it said, will this combination blow the 15 amp fuse? Yes, it will. All right. It's the, the outlet is rated for 15 amps. That's a maximum capacity. And there's a certain built in uh, circuit breaker. All right. That will trip or break the circuit if the total amount of current drawn by it, by it is higher than what it's rated for. So the circuit will, it will blow the fuse. Okay, it'll blow the fuse. So that's what's happening when you, if you've ever blown a fuse before, you turn on this, you know, toaster and an electric firing pan all at the same time. All of a sudden they both go out and the fuse blew. What the heck happened? Well, now you know what happened. Too much current was being drawn by the total circuit. You have a circuit breaker on your electrical panel that's only rated for 15 amps. And the circuit breaker says, uh-oh, yeah, I it's drawing more than 15 amps. I better shut off before things freaking catch on fire. That's why we have circuit breakers. Things will get too hot. Too hot. Okay? So, thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.